doing? It's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's jerky night. It is now episode 28, and we are on our way to a sort of a different kind of uh, recipe tonight that we've had in a while. It's much, much simpler, uh, and it seems really intriguing to me. It seems very interesting and tasty. Um, the ingredients are simply salt, pepper, and beef broth. Lots of it. So overall it's going to be four tablespoons of salt, one and a third tablespoons of black pepper, and then it says six cups of beef broth. Uh, but I think that's going to be for two pounds and I think we're going to have a little bit less than two pounds. I got the biggest eye round steak they had. I think we're going to be about one and three quarter pounds. So we'll maybe do about five cups of the broth. But that's it. Simple. Easy to do. We're going to make this quick. Let's cut the meat up. Clean it up. Uh, I think because of the liquid component, we're not going to be able to use the Snugtopia. But we'll put it in a big old bowl, cover it up, put it in the fridge. All right, let's get started. Get it cleaned up. Make quick work of this. All right, that's it. The meat's all cut up. Let's go ahead and uh, get the ingredients in. And let's get it in the fridge. Should be quick. All right, let's start out with four tablespoons of salt. I mention the name of this? This is actually called Colorado Jerky. If I didn't mention it, that's what it is. Look at all that salt. It's crazy. Alright, uh, one and one third tablespoons of pepper. And the beef broth. Six cups. We'll probably just do five. It's gonna be just a little short of two pounds. You know, I'll be honest, I think it's gonna be wasteful to put more than just that. That was about, um, it was about four cups and it's totally covered the meat. So I think we're gonna just uh, mix it up here, get it uh, good and uh, saturated with the salt and pepper and put uh, some plastic wrap on it, put it in the fridge. It smells amazing. It's all mixed, it didn't take much. Like I said, it's quick and dirty. So uh, I'm going to wash my hands, put some plastic wrap on this, and put it away. All right, it's Saturday morning. The uh, jerky's been marinating overnight. We have it here. It looks interesting. But uh, the uh, proof is in the pudding, so they say. So let's go ahead and uh, rack this up, get it started. I guess we'll uh, find out in a couple hours how this interesting little marinade works out. All right, let's get started.
So starting out around two pounds and then with the waste, we end up with just uh, a little over four trays. The fifth tray is probably, I would say, half full. So four and a half trays, it's not a bad haul. Uh, let's go ahead and crank this up and uh, I guess I'll see you back here in a couple hours and we'll see how it's working out. All right, it's been about three and a half hours and the whole house smells like beef stew, which is amazing. Um, we're going to go ahead and probably uh, rotate these trays and let it sit for a little bit longer, but uh, just want to check it with you and uh, let you know that it smells amazing and I'm really excited. All right, let's go ahead and rotate these trays. It's interesting, it's a really light color, and when it came out of the marinade, it was originally, you know, very pale. Uh, originally started as a very pink meat, but a very pale color. So that's pretty fascinating in itself. Um, we've rotated these, we're gonna let it sit for a little while longer, we'll probably give them a try in about an hour or so. All right, we'll see you then. All right, pretty much think this is done, and I'm super excited to give it a try. Here we go with Colorado Jerky. really really like the flavor it tastes like beef bouillon which is what it is it's almost like eating like roast beef or beef stew it is super delicious of course the meat is tender as always I'm loving this um, I'm gonna give it like a 9.5 I don't think this is gonna last the week all right guys well, this was a super simple and a super delicious recipe. Give it a try if you like. We'll see you later.